Hello. Uh, it's the 28th. Now, I'm thinking this is a leap year. I'm not real sure. <laughs> I'm hoping my phone will show up today. <sighs> Anyhow, um, I'm going to continue with doing COPD information. Um, I do encourage you to, to look up information for yourself because I am not an expert. I can relay information and I can give you information about my own. And I do think it's important that we share because if, if we work at keeping ourselves positive and informed and supporting each other, even if it's a family member that you have that has it, it's, and we can discuss other issues too. Everybody has more than one thing in their life. So anyway, but right now, I'm going to backtrack a little bit from yesterday and talk about what COPD is. COPD is something that it covers a lot of, of diseases. Um, it can be emphysema chronic bronchitis, um, irreversible asthma, and others that may be more infrequent. The thing of it is, is it can be some of those. It's never going to be just one of those because then it's just that disease. Some people do have just emphysema. Anyway, and I will discuss emphysema at a later date and what it looks like. I'd like to find uh, something that shows the way the sacs, the air sacs, um, what they, well, they expect. But anyway, we'll get into that later. But for me... I do have emphysema, which is throughout the lungs, and I have chronic bronchitis, which doesn't mean I've got it every day, but I have recurring episodes of bronchitis. I have had um, pneumonia twice. I take them. I've been given pneumonia shots, and this year I took Prevnar 13. And there is no one that covers every form. And pneumonia is kind of scary. But if you're at the point where you feel you really need to go in and be checked, go get checked. Your body tells you what's going on. And uh, listen to it. <laughs> listen to your body. Listen to your doctor. That's one thing I'm bad about. I need to get probably new blood work. And I need, you know, I need to get back on my regimen that I kind of lost when I was sick. And so I just, you know, we all have those things that we can procrastinate or whatever because they're just not comfortable but the point is you need to do them anyway I have I have a lot of breathing treatments um, inhalers I do have a nebulizer I need to keep up on more um, I used it more when I'm really sick and what I can do is I can get involved in other things and just kind of space it off and do one, maybe, 
instead of twice a day, I really do need to do it twice a day. So anyway, if you if you feel like you're kind of not that you're kind of failing, you're not alone. And the point is, okay, you screwed up yesterday, so do what you need to do today. And because you can't change yesterday. That's a hard one for me to learn. <laughs> but anyway, that is where I'm going to leave it today with COPD. Uh, go ahead and visit so CO, visit copdfoundation.org. You can also, there are government agencies, there are, um, just Google COPD and you'll find there's just all kinds of stuff. One thing that's been popping up a lot, and I'm not going to tell you what to do, I will tell you that it's not recommended right now because... It has not been tested uh, in the way it should be or for as long as it should be. And that is the injection of stem cells that they claim will cure your COPD. I'm not sure on that one. So I know there's treatments that people have done. They claim work very well. I'm not sure, but they end up having to go back, you know, and they're expensive. So um, do some counsel on that and research. Hello, everybody. Uh, I got a treatment to do, but first... I want to show you this. That didn't turn out so bad at all. Can you see that one? I gotta get behind my camera. There. That didn't turn out so bad once it dried. I kind of like the purple and pink together. Anyway, <laughs> it's a nice looking little flower on a flower pot. So, I don't know, maybe I'll paint another. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe. Um, watch the Fry Life today. I like them. I refer to them a lot, but I did. And um, she mentioned that they have, that, well, they live in Boston or that area. Anyway, and like my hat. I decided to have a hat day. It's I don't know that it's a bad hair day. I just thought it was a good hat day. So I wore my hat. <laughs> anyway. So. I'm thinking of trying a river scene. <laughs> So, I'll be back. I'm going to sketch this out, do my treatment. If it turns out with a good sketch, then I will paint it. Okay. I've drawn this out. And I think if I'm careful, it'll come out at least childlike looking. But hopefully we'll be able to tell what it is. I've mixed mostly blue, but a little yellow, because water is never true blue. But I wish I'd got more blue in it. So I'm going to, well, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I do want to keep it a little watery, because, 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 water is watery. <laughs> and so I want to give it that kind of, listening watery feel okay we got to change here so that you can see what I'm doing instead of seeing so much of me but I'm trying to just I drew a little guy here 
Yeah, I know. It's... Well, <laughs> I hope that will... It's still thicker. Well, it's this um, pottery, just or clay pot, is not that easy. But if we get the general idea on here, I think we'll be good. I'll, I'll draw that fishing pole back in. I put a little guy on the bank fishing. Let's see if I can take some water and just kind of thin that. Well, I think I said something, was it yesterday, about working outside the lines? You see, I grew up on the river. I've told some poems. I've read some poems about it and some stories, I guess. But the thing of it is, why not paint it? I wouldn't probably put it on the wall, but it's a pot and it's not going to be on the wall. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to put some black in here for this riverbank and yeah it's going to be black because I want to darken it across there and just a tad bit with some clues here okay am I talking like I know what I'm doing <laughs> if I am I apologize because I really don't okay Oh dear. Oh, that's what that is. I don't have brown. What made me think I could do that? I was going to make a little sandbar there in that empty space. That's not going to work. So we'll make that part of the watery little river. I don't know how to put a current on this. I thought I did but with this kind of thing, I think what I might do, give me a second, but I might do, I hope this is getting it, I just never know because I'm lifting it up, I'm laying it down, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take an edge of my brush and maybe put some little white things in there to kind of give the idea of moving that along. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it helped, but it's there. We are not trying to be Picasso. <laughs> Although it might look more like his than some of the others. I mean, he was very abstract in a lot of the things he did. Okay, here goes for the stump that this bum bum long guy is sitting on to fish. And... Okay, I will finish the little delicate parts of this, and then I'll show it to you tomorrow. Because it's got a few little trees. i got to figure out how to paint the guy. I may have to use my um, markers on some of that, because it's very fine. Ah, well, I decided to put it on a clay pot, so hopefully it will look a little bit decorative, if nothing else. <laughs> Anyway, it's been a wonderful day. Love you guys. You're my stars. See you tomorrow.